Dana! Guess who's gonna be here for Christmas? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. So guys, look who's home. And it's a bit tricky. Other way. Hmm? I'm just walking. You gotta push hard. <laughs> Guys, who is it? Who is that? Who is that? about her wish for Christmas set up a homecoming surprise today at her school. WLKY's Ann Bowden went to Crossroads Elementary in Mount Washington for the surprise. All I want for Christmas is my brother. Whoa. <laughs> Fourth grader Andrea Miracle didn't know it, but she was about to get a miracle. When her brother left, we all knew that she was very sad about it, and we've heard lots of conversations about Skyping him and wanting to see him and wanting to go to Germany to see him and wanting him to come home. All I want for Christmas is my brother. He's been, the, he's been in the Army for one and a half years. As a part of a class project, Andrea, along with two other selected students, read their All I Want for Christmas essays. But little did Andrea know, the entire project was created to make her wish come true. This is important to me because Jake is my only sibling. He has been there for me through hard and easy times. The things I miss most about him are <coughs> his big blue eyes, his giggle, his laugh, his smile, and his hugs and kisses. While every student wrote a letter, teachers and Andrea's mother had a large wrapped surprise with someone very special listening inside. Well, she said in her letter, in her paper, that um, if she got to see her brother, she would have a cow. I would do whatever I could to keep him home. I would be so happy that I would go crazy. I would do anything to see him. Thank you and please leave from the Army. Wish granted. <laughs> oh, I was tearing up in the box. I, oh, I miss you. <laughs> I knew that's how she felt, but just hearing her read it and hearing her say it, and the fact that she wrote two whole pages, it was ridiculous. And now Andrea is getting those hugs and kisses she's missed, and time. I don't care what we do as long as I'm with you. That's perfect. <laughs> now Andrea's brother, Jacob, will be home until January 3rd. After that, he'll go back overseas to Italy. But Andrea says this homecoming will last her for a while.
There's a present for you in there. Yeah. It says Richard and Lorelai. Sorry, it's late. Enjoy Santa. You didn't get to hug Santa? Next time we see him, you can hug him. How about you open up the present? You gotta take your jacket and your boots off. Tear away. I see something in there. You see something in there? Lorelai, you gonna help? Mom, this is top. This is top. You want me to get the top? Yeah. Okay, what is it? You think it's a car? Yeah. Are you sure? Mom, I really want to play with it. You do? You really want to play with it? Yeah. Okay. This is my best present ever. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I can't reach. You can't reach? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Is that the best day ever, Richard? Yeah. <laughs>Day at East Rochester School is always a good day, but for fourth grader Adrian Hebert and her little sister Emily in kindergarten, they have no idea just how special it's about to become. And here's why. In a nearby classroom, Gunnery Sergeant Donnie Hebert is just home from Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to return until April, and he's about to see his daughters for the first time in months. Any nerves? Well, you always have nerves. You know, you don't know which way they're going to react. Well, let's see, shall we? First, Adrian sees a welcome home banner. Initially, there's confusion, but when she sees her dad for the first time in a long time, it all gives way to this. We have a very, very special guest today. Emily breaks from the pack first. Baby. And then seconds later, the Hebert family is whole again. How you doing, baby? And daddy, too. Muffled sobs into the chest of this Marine say it all. Although after the reunion, the girls gave it their best shot. What kind of day was this for you? Very special and loved. Loving day. What did you think when you saw daddy? Very happy. For mom Jamie, it was a tough secret to keep. But with this kind of reaction, it was all worth it. Just seeing them run up, it just waterworks. Oh, man, what a feeling, huh? It is. You really can't explain it. And you don't have to, Marine, as your little girls explained it for us. In Rochester, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9. Here, come on, over here. And everyone, read what it says, okay? Hey, okay. You guys ready? Everybody come around the cake. You got to read it. Picture. Oh, welcome home. Welcome home, Josh. Happy 28th yeah, birthday. birthday to Sarah. Okay. So where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Oh! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Where's your lock out there? He left already. <laughs> <laughs> where? Jeff. Yeah. He has his real camos on. Where's the lock? Aren't they? Or was this next week?
Where's Pepe at outside? I knew it! Well played. Get set to enjoy the Logan Kidd received the surprise of a lifetime. He thought he was in the library as a reward for good behavior. In reality, he's there to see his dad for the first time since Christmas. Logan's daddy. His dad, Brandon, has been away serving as a recruiter for the Marine Corps. He spent his first day back surprising his son at school and receiving a hero's welcome from every student at Beasley Elementary. USA! USA! Staff Sergeant Garcia, uh, I'm the United States Army. I'm just here uh, to give a surprise to my beautiful daughter, Samantha. And you've been in Afghanistan and most recently in Georgia, right? Uh, yes, I was in Afghanistan two times, one time in uh, Iraq, and right now I'm back in Georgia. Very good. Yeah. Well, we thank you for your, for your service to country. Well, it's my pleasure. That's what I'm here for. And today we're graduating your daughter. And, uh, I appreciate that, and I really appreciate it. Take care of my family down here. It's what we do. So thank you. God bless you. Thank and, you so uh, much. I very much look forward to uh, have the principal put the diploma in your daughter's hand, and then she's going to walk down five steps, and the miracle is going to happen. You're going to be there. Okay. So try not to thank cry. I'll, I'll do the same. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, Sergeant. All right. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Okay. I couldn't say much. She's, she's really smart. She's, I'm really proud of her. 